My name is Severin, I'm uh, 27 years old, I'm the CEO and co-founder of Lima. Je m'appelle Anaïs Baru, j'ai 22 ans, je viens de Palaiso et mon projet c'est Damae Medical. I'm Antoine Hubert, I'm 32 years old and I'm CEO and co-founder of Insect. My name is David Cohen-Tenuji, I'm 28 years old and I just finished my PhD at MIT where I worked on the developing a more efficient membrane to turn salt water into fresh water. My name is Mathieu Nebra, I'm 29 and I'm the co-founder of Open Classrooms, an online platform where everyone can learn and everyone can teach. I'm Julie de Pimodan, I'm the founder of Flicity and I'm 31 years old. My name is Nicolas Etchet, I'm 31 years old and my project is called Bionico Hand because we are making a myoelectric bionic hand for disabled people. Hi, my name is Roman. I'm uh, 31st and I'm the uh, CEO and co-founder of Plume Labs. My name is uh, Pierre Vallad. I'm uh, 28 years old. Uh, I live in New York, but I'm from Paris. And I'm the co-founder and CEO of uh, Sunrise Calendar. I'm Xavier Duporté. I'm 27 years old. And I come from Lyon and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Eligo Bioscience. Today is a, is a very nice day. It's one of those days when we, where you wake up, you say, you don't say for this, I want to change the world, but you say, I'm going to meet people that want to change the world too. MIT Technology Review's competition selects the top young innovators that are going to have the biggest impact on the world. Damae Medical is a startup that develops a dispositif d'imagerie optique that allows to visualize the tissues cutanées de manière non invasive and in profondeur. Lima is the first product that enables you to have exactly the same content on all your devices tablets, smartphones, laptops. Insect ID is just using insect and insect proteins to feed the world. In my previous life, I used to be a journalist. I lived for seven years in the Middle East and I was very much impacted by the Arab Springs and the role of technology uh, for uh, the democratic process. And uh, after four years at Google, where I really learned how to play with data and how to use data for decision-making purposes, I decided to found Free City uh, and launch myself in a new adventure. So Sunrise started with this idea that we could um, reimagine how people manage their time. And we felt that with so many mobile devices uh, taking on the world, people have this piece of software that's in their hands, connected to the internet, and they want to know where they're going, what's next, what should they do during the day. The Plume Labs help people breathe better. We're trying to make our cities breathable again uh, by building tools to inform people of exactly how much pollution there is in real time, so we can all change our behaviors, uh, adapt, choose when we go out, when we go for a run, and when we stay home. Uh, so that pollution is less of an issue and we can all enjoy uh, our cities and make them breathable again. The fact that this is a global community is, is very important because today's problems are global in nature. And these innovators understand how to change large global scale things. And the fact that all these projects are really interdisciplinary, that the people come from all over the world so they have different views on how innovation has to be made or what are the different problems that have to be solved depending on where you are. But they also have um, talents and qualities, expertise in very different fields. It's really, really a, a mind-blowing, I mean, a, you know, a shaking, mind-shaking experience where you meet all these people and you can basically create. It's a concentrated of talents in a lot of disciplines. To solve the world's future challenges, uh, we really need to be global by traveling, by studying abroad. I think a global community is an essential part of that. It's, it's great to be here and, and seeing this community growing and getting a, a sense of everything that's happening, not only in what you do, but in, in all of the different sectors and industry where people are innovating. And it's also very great to see you know, young people who decide not to uh, go and get a job as an employee, but they just start a new business, a new product, a new ID because they want to change the world. What do you expect today? I don't know what to expect. I'm a bit anxious to, to meet all these people, but uh, at the same time, uh, I can't wait to talk to them and to let them discover what uh, I've been doing for the past 15 years. I'm tremendously excited about tonight. 
think the amount of energy and of excitement and talent uh, that is already showing this morning uh, is going to be 10 times more this evening. L'idée première c'est de faire connaître le projet mais surtout de pouvoir transmettre la passion qui est à l'origine du projet. This movement that started I think, 15 years old now, this year, uh, is rapidly changing and turning into a global movement that is helping us discover the brightest people and the people who are working on solving the most difficult problems and that are using difficult technologies. These are the people that are making things happen. These are not like kids. These are people who are tackling the big, big problems with technology and successfully doing it. Uh, being uh, the uh, innovator of the year is just an amazing experience. Uh, I think, um, you know, I've met so many incredible people and I think um, we're all innovators of the year. I mean the project are really all awesome and it's just incredible to see that all these people coming from so many different backgrounds um, trying to solve so many problems but to really try to have an impact. And it's just so nice to feel uh, in the community of people like that. This gives us uh, energy so uh, it's good. We, if we want to make any pools again that if we want to make big things, we need everybody. It's thanks to all the energy of the people that today my project is, is cool. Mais la qualité de Paris ce soir était formidable. Impressionnant, c'était surprenant. Il y a vraiment des projets qui ont à la fois l'ambition et qui sont quand même réalistes. Donc c'est des choses qui peuvent vraiment aboutir à des innovations, à vraiment changer le monde. See a sign that there is a community that's growing in France. We also saw that the quality of our projects and our award winners was better than any edition before. So, I mean, our opinion is that this has been our best ever event in France, and we look forward for an even better one next year. Technically, my future is to go from this hand to a bionic hand with a smartphone integrated into it. I would love to see a future where uh, we can really make decisions based out of data. In my future, I see a more collaborative space for learning. The future I want to bring is a future where technology is usable by everybody and useful for the mass and not only for the tech people. Creating a better future in which fresh water is more available and in which the water crisis that we're facing today is less of a problem across the world. So technology really is part of the future if it's used to make everyone's lives better. And that's the spirit of MIT and it's the spirit of innovators under 35 francs. <laughs>